Hello, and welcome. I am Edwin, the digital avatar for Paraben's Electronic Evidence Examiner platform. I will be your guide as we explore the powerful, and intuitive functions, of E3. This is a detailed overview video, which demonstrates the main functions, and capabilities, of the E3 platform. We begin by creating a new case. Enter a case name, and then add the investigator's information. Click finish, and select the location for your case. By default, the case is saved to the E3 cases folder. Once the case is created, the next step is to add evidence data to the case file. Select, image file. Click, auto detect image, and select an image you want to add. Then click, open. Enter a new evidence name, for example, hard drive. Then click, OK. In the settings window, select additional options to be applied to the evidence. Or click, OK, to skip them. The auto exam wizard, offers powerful automation capabilities for evidence processing, advanced searching, and report generation. In the auto exam window, select the actions that will be applied automatically to the case evidence. In this example, we will sort the data by categories, and remove any duplicates. Start, auto exam. Once complete, expand the evidence, and then expand the data triage node. The data triage node, includes a list of data categories found in the evidence. Start the, counting folder content function, to learn how many files are available in each of the folders. The running, and completed tasks can be viewed in the, tasks pane. Next, let's view the contents of a folder. In this example it is the recycle bin. The folder itself does not contain any files, but its subfolders contain a total of 8 files. Now, let's view the content of some of the categories in the data triage node. The chat databases category, contains, Skype database data. When you expand it, you can find contact information, conversation data, call history, file transfer history, and contact IP addresses, if available. The Internet Browser Data Care category, contains a variety of useful browser data, found in the evidence. The data available depends on the browser type. For example, Google Chrome includes history, keywords, logins, autofill items, cookies, bookmarks, and backup bookmarks data. The Downloads category, contains information about files downloaded to the, Downloads folder, on the PC. Now let's view data sorted by the file type categories. The email category, lists all email databases found in the evidence. Let's view the contents of the email database in the, OST format. You can navigate to the email database location, directly from the sorted files viewer. In the settings window, select any additional options to be applied to the evidence. Or click, OK to skip them. Start counting the folder contents of the email database. The inbox, folder includes the most email. Select one of the email messages. The various email metadata can be viewed in the grid. The email content is displayed in the email data viewer, in different formats, such as, RFC header, text RTF, HTML, raw HTML, and attachments viewers. Additional information about email messages is available in the general properties pane. A special indicator shows that the email has an attachment. To view the email attachment, click the attachment in the attachments viewer, and then open it in one of the viewers. Now, let's return to the sorted files pane. As you can see, the data is sorted by the file type category. The graphics category, contains all the images, in various formats, found in the evidence. The images can be viewed in the thumbnails viewer. To determine the location of the image in the evidence, just click the image of interest in the, sorted files viewer. Right click the image. 
the context menu provides a variety of options. For example, you can add the image to the report, or open it, using the external viewers. In the thumbnails viewer, you can view the sorted images, select the required ones, and then bookmark or export them. To bookmark the selected files, just click the corresponding option in the context menu, enter the bookmark name, and click OK. The bookmark will be added to the bookmarks pane. Additionally, you can assign a tag to your bookmarks. Right-click the root tag in the bookmarks pane and click Add Tag. Enter a tag name and click OK. Drag and drop the bookmark under the tag. Now let's perform an advanced search. You can use this search across the whole case, but to speed up the process, we will limit the search to the email database. Navigate to the email database and right-click the required folder. Select Advanced Search. The advanced search can search text or hex values, as well as execute Boolean searches, simple searches, searches by regular expressions, emoji searches, and search for words from predefined lists. We will use the Boolean search to find the following, Villa or Mar del Plata. If you want to find a phrase, enclose it in quotation marks. Start the search. The search results are displayed in the search results area. Expand one of the search hits. The matching word and its position are also displayed. Click one of the search results to view it in the viewer. The match word is highlighted. Right click a search result hit to view the other available options. For example, you can add the search hit to the report. The search options are also available on the search tab. Next, we will generate a report. To include relevant evidence in a report, you should select a checkbox for the corresponding file, folder, or category, like in the sorted files pane. Then go to the reports tab and click generate report. On the general options page, select HTML investigative report. The report will be saved to the default location. In the reports wizard, you can add investigator information, select additional data to be added to the report, customize the report, add summary and conclusion, or include the case history. Click finish to generate the report. As you can see, all data is present in the report, including the bookmarked image. Next, we will explore E3's mobile data analysis functions. In this example, we will analyze case evidence acquired from an Android mobile device. As this case has been recently opened, it is present in the recent section of the case menu. This case contains two evidence acquisitions from different Android devices. One acquisition contains data from an Android device acquired logically, and the other acquisition contains data from an Android device, with a Spectrum processor, acquired physically. Let's begin with the physically acquired device. The physical acquisition obtains a memory image, which contains all data, usually unparsed. As with traditional computer evidence, all an analysis options are available for mobile evidence as well, for example, content analysis. Expand the data folder. It contains unparsed data from the installed applications. For example, the facebook.orca folder contains a list of databases with Facebook conversation data and contacts information. In the Sorted Files pane, you can view different data, sorted by file type. Let's view the case with the logically acquired Android device. The logical acquisition process obtains parsed data, such as user activity timeline, installed applications list, application permissions, application data, SMS, call history, and so on. The mobile data triage node displays the device information, locations, contact email account data, and more. The authentication data folder can contain the auth data file, 
which can be used to import cloud data. To use it, begin by exporting the file to your PC. Start the Cloud Data Import Wizard. You can import different cloud data types by either directly using the account credentials or the auth data file. To import data using the auth data file, click Add Auth Data File. Navigate the exported auth data file. A list of available accounts will be displayed. Select what account data you want to import and click Authenticate. After successful authentication, you can begin the data import process. Once imported, the data will be added to the E3 case automatically. Expand the case to view its content in grids, or in the viewers. Now, let's perform an advanced search on the case data. Right-click the desired case, or folder, and select, Advanced Search. To search for an emoji, click the Emoji Picker and select, Emoji. You can also use the Boolean operators. Click, Start. The results are displayed in the, Search Results area. E3 can also acquire, view, and analyze data acquired from iOS devices. To add evidence, containing iOS device data, click, Add Evidence. Select an E3 data case slash DS case file in the, Paraben Tools category. Select an E3D, or DS case, and click, Open. The added evidence contains data, logically acquired, from an iPhone, with an encrypted backup. Expand the case. The encrypted backup, as a rule, contains more evidence data. The backup contains the voice memos recordings, device properties, Safari history data, stored passwords, maps history, maps directions, past recovered data if available, and more. The VAR folder contains the file system data, which can be useful during investigations. A list of installed applications and application data are also available. Open the report example. This example mobile data review report contains an examination summary, information about the device, case data summary, installed applications list, profiles, locations, contacts, messages, calls, calendar data, browser history data, file transfers and downloads, any additional data not included in the main sections, and the user activity timeline data. The Native Applications folder contains health application data obtained from both the iPhone and the paired iWatch. E3 can also view and analyze Internet of Things IoT, data. For example, data from a DJI drone. To view this data, add an E3 evidence file containing DJI Go application data. The DJI Go data is available in the application data folder. This data includes the video file list, the flight records, including images, and the flight record list. Now, let's view the structure of the mobile data review report. Click the link to view a list of the data included in the report. Open the report example. This example mobile data review report contains an examination summary, information about the device, case data summary, installed applications list, profiles, locations, contacts, messages, calls, calendar data, browser history data, file transfers and downloads, any additional data not included in the main sections, and the user activity timeline data.